closed. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be playing with glue because we are in the uh, tier 10 French destroyer Der Kleber. Okay, okay, I know it. It's probably Kleber or something along those lines. It's just that every time I think of this ship's name, I think of the German word. Anyway, we're on the map north and I started out going to the side of the map where battleship shouldn't be going and uh, surprise surprise, who do I see over here? A Grossa Kofest. Well, I suppose we'll be farming some delicious damage off of her because she doesn't seem to mind too much. I will continue opening my angle to be more aware of enemies appearing. I launch random torpedoes because you never know. You, they might catch off a gearing that, or Fletcher that might just accidentally run into them twice in a row, right? You never know. Anyway, I'm going to continue shelling the Grossa Kofest. It seems that she finally realized that I am close enough for her secondaries to open up on me. So she selected me for secondary targeting. So I'm going to try to get slightly further away so I can continue shelling her with HE to get some more fires. Because I mean, I've already done 23k damage. Oh, she's going to be behind an island, so... It means she isn't going to secondary me anymore, but unfortunately... Wargaming still hasn't added shells that can penetrate islands. Soon though, soon, I'm sure of it. She's trying to hide, but I don't think it's going to be very successful. And this is good for me because I get to set her on fire a few more times. Looking at the minimap, it seems that both teams are doing pretty okay. We have taken the B-cap, thanks to the Z-52, that basically solo capped it. Well, not basically, she literally solo capped it, with no support at all. And our... Uh, Gearing and Worcester are on the sea caps. Well, not Worcester anymore. Gearing is on the sea cap and is taking it right now. The red team has taken the A cap, but that's okay. I mean, right now even we're even in terms of cap zones, although not in ships because we have lost two ships at this point. We lost a destroyer on the western side on the map border, and we've lost the Worcester in the sea cap. But the gearing should be able to take the sea cap, which should start getting us... It should at least eventually get to us leading the game in points. I think that was a Smolensk that fired at me. But because I'm quite far and they didn't have proper lock on, nothing happened from that. I suppose the Kofest seems to be not planning on showing herself to me too much, so I will have to start moving out. And I have absolutely no problem with this. I just need to make sure that I stay far away enough from the coffest so that her secondaries don't become too effective. I did set her on fire again though. Oh, the nice thing is that the coffest is super huge, so... Bits and pieces of her stick out from behind the island. Oh, she's accelerating. That's unfortunate. Anyway, that smoke screen over there should be the Smolensks. Or the Haragumas, I mean. It doesn't really matter. Both of them should be in there. And hopefully we can deal with this Kofas soon enough. I'm gonna swap the AP since I did set the fire. And hopefully I can get some... Oh my god, she's turning away. I was hoping to be able to get some shots on the superstructure, but if she's turning away. That's not gonna be too effective. Smolensk doesn't seem to like me very much anymore, so. Is that an AFK Des Moines? Okay, Kofest went down, but is that an AFK? De that is an AFK Des Moines. Now. I shell her to set her on fire a few times and then go close enough to torpedo. What I really should have done is I should have gone close enough to torpedo, stopped firing, torpedoed her and then just sailed away. Because I'm gonna take a whole bunch of damage here which was kinda unnecessary. I could have positioned myself better and not taken this type of damage. 
Although I do shell the Conqueror, which is some extra damage, but I'm not sure it's worth the damage I take in return. I mean, if I just waited for the Des Moines or the, for the torpedoes to connect with the Des Moines, I sh could just sit here behind the island and then shell the Conqueror. But I guess I can't. Des Moines is gonna go down soon though. Goodbye. Thank you for the reload boost because I do have the special French captain as you can see by the fireworks and oh, there's the Haruguma in Smolensk. I want to stop firing for now because my position isn't the greatest, but I am on fire so I am spotted anyway. So I guess I might as well open up on the Haruguma, although I am invisible. But I'm gonna use the reload booster and just shell her and disengage. But I have taken a whole bunch of needless damage here. I mean, the damage on the Conqueror was absolutely not worth what I did, basically. I could have just been slightly more patient and would not have taken something like 10,000 damage here. Anyway, we did a whole bunch of damage extra to the uh, Haruguma and I mean... At this point, we have 150k damage. It's already a good result in this match. But we need to do more to win the game because we've lost five ships, they have lost three. And they are taking our big cap, which will put them in the lead in terms of cap zones. Luckily, our Yamato finished off the Conqueror, but there's still this pesky Haruguma and the Smolensk that we have to deal with. Hopefully we can help with the Haruguma a little bit. Oh, I think they're smoking. Yeah, they're smoking again. Damn it. Okay, I guess I'll just go close enough and launch my torpedoes because the Klebe's torpedoes are actually incredibly good. They, ha they are very fast and their concealment is very low. They're better than F3s. I just want to get slightly closer in case the Haruguma has reversed slightly. But I do want to stay behind this island and not go the close path because maybe the Haruguma pushes out for whatever reason and then I'm probably gonna be uh, dog food for the Smolensk. Okay, so in terms of the minimap, Yamato is heading into the corner, which is a good idea, I think, because it seems that she is fighting a losing battle. Z-52 is also disengaging, that's also a good thing because it means the Z-52 is less likely to sink. Our team is pushing at sea, which is again a good thing. So I'm really happy with uh, where both teams are, or our, my team is. And I got some lucky torpedo hits on the Haruguma, that's very good. And I decide to open on the Smolensk because her guns are pointed elsewhere and she is engaging other ships. And since she already took a whole bunch of damage. I fire AP, but I do really wonder, should I actually be firing AP here? I probably should, right? Because I probably can citadel the Smolensk even at this kind of range. But I figured that she was low enough that HE should be good enough. And obviously it is going to be. It might just take slightly longer. And there she goes. So let's speed up because nothing else happens for a while. It's six of our ships versus four of theirs, but we do need to wrestle a capstone away from them. And that is a fairly healthy Kremlin, and consider the ships we have. We have a Yamato, a Zhao, a Gearing, a Z-52 and a Kleber. They have two battleships and a Gearing. I am not entirely sure that our team is in a specifically superior position. I mean, considering how much time there is, we probably are, but what's going to happen is the Yamatos are going to either ram one another or our Yamato just goes down, in which case we have to deal with both of the uh, battleships with a cruiser and three destroyers while they hold the capstone advantage. That's not necessarily something that can easily be done. And furthermore, we don't know the situation, or I don't know the situation with the gearing. Perhaps she has enough HP to do crazy things. Well, the Yamatos rammed one another, so this means that 
me and this friendly gearing have to take care of this Kremlin and then try to take the B-Cap. I suppose we still have a Zao, but I have a feeling that the Zao isn't going to exist for too long. Obviously, the best choice of ammo type against the battleship on a Kleber is a Chi. I want to stay at... Oh, yeah, there goes the Zao. I want to stay at some kind of range so that once the... Or if the Kremlin aims at me, I can start turning away. I mean, points are basically even, so the fact that we have more ships isn't necessarily a huge advantage. Like, the gearing is apparently being shot at, so if the gearing actually, I don't know, gets sunk by the Kremlin, that could be really bad. So we need to... Oh, and she's healing right now, by the way. So it might actually be a good idea to switch back to HE, because the AP just didn't seem to be dealing the damage. Because I really don't have that much HP. Four over pens and my ship is gone. And she fired at me, so I'm gonna turn away. Nice, I didn't get hit, and I do think we're gonna be able to sink her soon enough, because the heal should be wearing off soon. And there it goes. Accidentally ran out of range of the Kremlin for a bit, but I think it'll be fine. Oh yeah, with the fire, absolutely. Goodbye, Kremlin. And our Z52 has 5k HP, Gearing has 7k, and I have 6k. We should be able to easily win this now. But I mean, this could have gone quite poorly if that Kremlin had been lucky on shots against the Gearing or shots against me. This could have been a winnable game for the red team. But at this point, it's not really possible, especially since it's gonna be me versus a gearing. I can just fight her at range, and there's basically nothing the gearing can do to me. And I ha even have a reload booster. At first, I thought I'm gonna go close and use reload booster and just out DPM her, but that's actually a bad idea because it's much safer to just stay at range. Because gearing's guns are super. The shells are floaty compared to Klebez which are not floaty to anything to a comparable degree. And that is why I am able to easily sink the gearing. While only having 6k HP and only losing like 2 or 3k from, from my HP. And this was a really nice game. Even if you discount, even if you remove the uh, AFK Des Moines, I would have still done a good 172k damage or something. And I mean, I did sink six ships. Kraken, Witherer, Arsonist, Confederate, High Caliber. Those, I think, strikers from the Des Moines. And this gave me a nice 2700 base XP. Although I have to say that without the reload boost from the Des Moines, I might not have been able to do it. So I'm going to compliment him for good manners. Because it's funny. Although I'm not laughing right now. Anyway, here you can see the damage. 88k damage from fires. 37k from the torpedoes on the uh, Des Moines, 3k from AP, and 94k from HE. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, Ikaros, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.